Folks, we actually saw a smashing show at uh, Liverpool yesterday and the one who put on that show is the one who is revolutionizing the Bollywood music industry, none other than Pritam and I'm very happy to say Pritam has agreed to talk to us. Pritam, welcome. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you very much. Fine, thank you. Um, you were uh, first visit to Sydney? Yeah, absolutely. First visit to Australia, actually. Oh, okay. uh, not only in concert, I've never come, been in Australia. This is my first time in Australia. And uh, you have brought the Indian summer to Sydney. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, uh, really enjoyed uh, Though we didn't have much time. We, uh, we came from Auckland State and uh, even a day before in Auckland, we just arrived from uh, after a long journey via Dubai to uh, Auckland. So it was very hectic in terms of travel. But uh, people are so nice here, people are so warm here, uh, so I felt at home and we actually felt at home. So. Of course, with this temperature you must be feeling <laughs> home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was at the show and it was an absolute smashing show and uh, everyone enjoyed. You have millions of fans uh, everywhere in the world. And uh, what, how did you feel uh, the reaction of uh, the people who came to the show? Amazing, amazing. They were like... Uh, um, clapping and uh, cheering for us in every song and um, singing along in a lot of songs and whenever I asked to sing along they sang along and in the old song section where, where there's some request of old songs and so we impromptu to, to, to contacting old songs so in that section everybody was singing along that we, I could hear from the backstage more uh, crowd uh, singing than the singers and um, it went off very well uh, we actually take the energy from the audience the audience energy was so high so it it uh, uh, kind of automatically energized us of course i mean uh, i had a lot of fun yesterday and of course as i said there are millions of fans all over the world they would like to know you are an engineer like me and how it all started this passion for music and your whole journey well, I'm not an engineer, engineer as such. Um, I uh, did... Uh, uh, first, I did geology as in my graduation. I was completing one year of MSc. MSc. Then I got through to Film Institute of India, Pune. Right. Uh, the course was called sound engineering, but it's actually sound for films more than right. anything. Uh, so... Um, uh, because electronics was a part of it, so that's why it, it might, uh, it was called sound recording and engineering. But it, it is not that heavy duty engineering like you. you. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I, I have been uh, interested in music from beginning. And uh, my father is a musician. We have kind of grown up with music. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I never thought of coming to Bollywood. Uh, I was kind of destined to be in Bollywood. Um, uh, I came across the FTI advertisement by chance uh, and I never knew of the Film Institute existing actually. But uh, I just came across that by chance and I uh, took admission in the Film Institute and my life changed. And uh, you know the whole, uh, whole training orientation of doing music for films has come from the Film Institute and um, I had a, a lovely music professor Kedar Rawati in the institute. My sound professors were also very good. Uh, Mr. Satish Kumar, Mr. Saldaonkar, all of them like kind of um, the whole uh, Film Institute kind of molded me to work in the film industry and that's when I came out to the film industry uh, all my Film Institute seniors started giving me work. That's how I started getting music work. I was more interested in music, so I shifted from sound to music. Um, I did not have to do sound. Uh, so, um, and slowly from one job to another, I, I started getting work. So this is how it Of course, we enjoy in the car, in the hall, at home, everywhere. You were fantastic songs, a hundred films. Many, over hundred films. Over hundred <laughs> films. And uh, you have introduced a lot of young talent. Is that something you consciously do? Yeah, I, uh, I like uh, working with newcomers. Uh, uh, primarily, I, uh, I think that voices are something for our songs. If we see voices are actually the lead instrument of a song because uh, in Hindi song, your attention first go to the voice. So, uh, in 
terms of situation, in terms of criteria, you can't change too much because there is romance and uh, there is a dance song, there is a shadi song, there is a sad song. So the so the overall milieu does not so how to get freshness. Uh, musically, lyrically, also you are kind of stuck to a certain thing. So I think freshness comes through voices. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, uh, thousands of songs. And if I ask you, uh, after recording and listening to that song, when you put your feet up and listen to it, which is the film you felt satisfied, completely satisfied? Well, I'm never satisfied with anything. This is, this is something which uh, is a problem with me. Uh, in my mind, I am a kind of perfectionist, so I hear something uh, and I keep on reaching that what I am hearing. I can never reach, so I am never satisfied. I keep on working on, on something over and over again un until it is snatched away from my hand. Uh, but on retrospective, if you ask me uh, what I like, actually is very tough. I like Mostly every song is uh, like my son, my kids, you know, so um, I know the situation they have gone through. Maybe some uh, some songs were supposed to be good, but for different criteria, they might not uh, reach that status, uh, you know. So um, it's tough, it's tough to say which one I... Uh, Burfi has been a very satisfying experience as such, uh, because... Um, uh, Burfi gave me a lot in terms of uh, also the director I work with, Ejwani, Ejwani, like Anurag Basu is a friend. So I'm uh, uh, Ayan Mukherjee has been a great experience to work with. Like that, uh, directors are very important whom I collaborate. I always feel uh, I always feel that uh, film music is a collaborative uh, effort. It's a collaboration between the music composer and the director of the film and. Uh, uh, some process the collaboration has been enjoy a quite enjoying experience enriching experience those process I've en uh, enjoyed uh, uh, those albums I cherish a lot the where I have enjoyed the process uh, sometime due to the collaboration failing sometime it go gets into a lot of complications and uh, there I have not enjoyed and uh, maybe I don't uh, cherish those as well albums oh they have worked worked well have you had any uh, formal uh, classical music uh, education? No, no classical music education at all. I am the um, more, more uh, uh, I'm more Western trained. Uh, like uh, uh, I had kind of learned little bit of Western classical while I was in the institute, but I'm I'm a guitarist. I used to play guitar earlier. Then uh, uh, I have learned a, a, as when I'm Calcutta I've learned uh, I, I've been trained in Bengali folk but not uh, Shastriya Sangeet or not uh, Indian classical mm. well uh, Bollywood music of course is now liked by everyone around the world and what what do you think is going to be the future of Bollywood music is it going to be more fusion with Western music uh, yeah, it is. It is always been a fusion uh, of uh, Indian and Western. But I think Bollywood has a sensibility of its own, and uh, that is what what the Westerners uh, enjoys. Uh, we can't um, ape the West as such, because then why should uh, anybody? I think if if you are in Sydney, and if we if our music is too close to the West music, then we don't have our flavor. Then you rather hear English song. Why do you want to hear English song? So we have to keep our roots very strong. Uh, we have to keep it desi, as we say. Like you know, like uh, urbanize, westernize is okay, but keeping our soul, because we, uh, our music, I think is uh, heavily dependent on how you touch people heart, uh, people's heart, and it's all about soul. Our um, elements of our folk, of our uh, in classical, uh, all all merge. So we can't lose our soul. We can't lose our identity. And uh, if we keep our identity, it will be going popular with the Westerners too. Of course. Uh, as I said, there are a lot of fans in Australia and New Zealand, and of course around the world. If there is one final message, uh, uh, the message is. Uh, 
सिंपल दैट कीप लविंग माई सॉन्ग्स कीप द लव योर गिवनी एंड आई एम लाइक दिस इज वॉट योर लव इज वॉट makes me uh, survive in the music industry makes me work continuously in the studio so that i can see smile on your in your face i can see you enjoy the song i can see you dancing to my songs i can see you singing along with my song i can see you falling in love with my song pritam thanks very much for talking to me i i Indian. also want to i also want to say that um, please watch sare ga ma pa this year uh is ctv saregama pa i am a part of uh, i am a mentor in saregama pa so um, i'll see you through saregama pa thank you so much thank, thank you for talking to us thank you